Hello everyone, welcome back to Fable Heyman Age of Wonders for Jaina Proudmoore, the daughter of the sea, continues her journey in the frozen isles of Northrend. And before we truly hop into it, I blint. I'd like to thank you all for your tremendous support on this series. As always, it's good to see everyone again. Welcome to a brand new Age of Wonders tale. And I have an update for you. First of all, I did spell the city incorrectly, but not that incorrectly. It is Borlas. For the U, so if an I. I'm still going to call it Borlas. Secondly, on the mod front, I received confirmation there is one... There are two main Tome edition mods. The Age of Tomes, which has been outdated for a while, and is one that breaks the evolution of units. But then I got confirmation that the Tome of Timberwood is working. That's the one that I was afraid of because it still has the, or at least shows pictures still, of the roots and the the seeds, the roots, and the hearts of magic, which of course are removed for the amplifier lens and the matrices. Uh, but I'm not going to use that mod. I'm not going to throw it in. So we'll still be rocking the original tomes, the baseline tomes. But I did add in the expanded culture unit mod. I received a recommendation to use this, and I thought, you know what? Let's see if we can get it to work. And I did. Why don't you look at that? They're here. What this does is this adds additional units to the cultural rosters for each of the cultures. And for us, well, it also adds a tier 4 unit, which is pretty cool. For us, so far, we have had added Light Cavalry, Armored Pikemen, and Huntsman. Now, hopefully this doesn't screw anything up. I do get a warning every time I was booting up the save, but I did confirm that the new units pop out as they're supposed to. So we'll spawn in a Light Cavalry. No, we won't have no money. But, uh... Yeah, keep that in mind. We have new stuff. And part of that is part uh, evolution. A lot of the new units evolve. Like the pikemen, I think, will now evolve into the hardened pikemen instead of a defender, which gives the feudal culture their much needed real spear unit. So we'll see. Supposedly, the AI knows how to use these uh, units as well. But, you know, we'll see what they do or don't do. With all that out of the way, I think we're going to continue with the plan. Yes, the plan. We'll go over here, bop this camp, grab this wonder, and then we will go south. That is my current plan. I believe so. The staves of warding are in. This will make it so that whenever our bannermen cast a support spell, they will also give plus two bolts of resistance to our friends. And we're getting magical wards up and ready. A trade proposal, you say? A defensive pact with Lord Nathaniel Mar, of course, of course, my friend. The Lord of Valor. Oh, Garrosh has ended his declaration. No. 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 There cannot be peace with Garrosh. I'm looking for the thing with most value. The Urukai. Ooh. Value 180, but it only gave me 96. That's fine. Not create the fine, because I want to... I'm rivalry with Garrosh. I told you. There is no peace for Garrosh. Now, interestingly enough, Blint actually kind of likes me, and that's because Garrosh and Blint started the first war. I'm assuming Garrosh started it and Blint was on the receiving end. And, uh... I received a suggestion that we might lean into. The obliging Duke Frederick Stratford of Bakshir offers his help during your war with Dondel. Great Jaina Proudmore, it has come to my attention that you have finally seen the true colors of the horrible Magistrate Mariel Star Scepter of Dondel. I would like to offer you my finest warriors to aid you in your war. People of Bakshir seem very eager to help you crush Dondel. Uh, I'll take money instead. Please and thank you. We need to, we need to fix our money. So let's get a mint up and running. Why is it going to take seven turns? I don't know. But it is. How much are you costing me? Twelve gold? Fine, see there. Keep the exploration rolling. And let's pop this forest. 
I wonder how is it going to go. Screw you, Blint. You enter a forest of glowing crystal formation, showing eerie reflections of you and your troops. As you keep going through the forest, memories overwhelm you. Reflections of yourself fade into visions of the past, present, and future. Into memories of the good and bad things that you have wrought. Your troops weave and wail, apologizing to their own mirror images. Then the visions start to take physical form, as creatures appear from the crystal maze. Your troops scramble and shout in confusion as their reflections come to life and reveal themselves to be mirror mimics. Do not despair, men. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now, we don't have a particularly balanced group for good old Jaina Proudmore. We have uh, four frost elementals for the memes. Basically. That's basically what it is for the memes. Oh, I need to get the Signet of Knighthood. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah. How did I get that? I don't know, but I have it. It's mine. The Signet of Knighthood would give Stand Together to all of our non-cultural units. Do I want this? Call to glory, to greatness. Want to see me do it again? Want to see me do it again? Now, I could attempt to freeze one of the mirror mimics. And I think I sh shall. Slowed. Eh, good enough. Missed. Now... Shall we send one brave champion? Or... Let's see what we can do. Oh! No, slow. That's fine, I'll keep trying. Slow. No retaliation on slow! First battle and I'm eating that out. I'll bring another one. Beautiful. Alright, that was our first turn. Now, these two could be in danger. We do have some mimics, that's okay. Because the, the wisps don't fuck around. They're here to fight. That's okay. Alright, Jaina Proudmore. My champion. I could... Ah, I'm so close to just killing it. So close and yet so far. 23%. Alright, let's go. I slowed it. That's right. No count. Oh, wow. No counter for you. <laughs> that is so obscenely strong. Some things never change. Go here. I stunned it on the counter. Hmm. That's how you play the video game. This guy's probably dead. Unfortunately. Oh, not dead. He lives. A champion of the people. Why am I only hitting once? Do I? Oh. 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 Was this not a satirical orb? Am I going crazy? I'm fairly certain this was a satirical orb the last time I checked. You know, last episode. But now it's a holy orb. Okay, that's that's fine. I just need to, that's where the thingy came from. My ability to give condemned everything, which is mighty strong. Don't get me wrong. 
Cyberpunk. The wonder of mods. I wonder if that interacted with... Maybe I just didn't look at it? Possible that happened. As the ambush of the strange reflections dissipate, your troops sigh in relief. The lucid forest pulsates with a new energy. You see a path with many forks up ahead, each one leading to freedom. The crystals shimmer and your troops smile as the new reflections show fond memories from their past. If only for a moment, they find solace and peace within this forest of crystals. You have to take a closer look at the crystals yourself. The reflections of the lucid forest now shown fond memories of your past. You gaze into the crystal and you remember. Is this ritual dagger what I think it is? Nope. It is not. Deal 30 physical damage to yourself and gain bleeding. Grants adjacent allies 15 temp hit points and strengthen 2. Adjacent enemies have a tremendous chance to gain weakened. Nope. 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 Remember when you've earned your first coin. Alright, we march on. This, uh... One-dimensional army may not be my best... Oh, hey. It's Saruman's capital. May not be my best strategy in the world, but that's fine. It's no big deal. We can now gain a tier two tome. What shall we grant? Hmm. Now, Jaina, of course, is a master of frost. So we will be going for the tier three frost tome. But until then, amplification would make sense. She is very much an arcane wizard. Let's do that. One of the more fascinating aspects of the arcane is that it can be turned back on itself, augmenting and amplifying its own essence. Any wizard can cast a spell, but a true master seeks to perfect it and elevate themselves and their magic beyond what mere practitioners think possible. Ah, we have some choices here. Indeed, we do. So, the amplification pylon was changed in the Watcher update. Now, it increases the damage of your spells by 50%, but it also has static shield, so you can yeet it out there. It is now just another entity for things to hit, and if they hit it, they have a chance to be stunned, and it can lightning blast once per turn. And if we were to yeet out our ice spells or any chain lightning shenanigans, they would be improved. This could be good. But Astral Blood is also OP, so I think I'm going to lock the pylon and go Astral Blood and just see what happens. You never know, you know? You never know. Blint has actually established a city here. Wow, okay. That is mildly concerning. You know what's not? This guy has peace towns. Thanks, guy. These mountains suck to fight in, but this should be a safe battle. Indeed it was. And the evolution begins. The snow spirits have awakened. These are tier three elementals, and they are basically just bigger versions of, bigger and better versions of the lesser. They can also teleport, so. I have four teleporting units in my army. Bear? No. Fun? Absolutely. This could be great. Also, I misspoke previously in the last episode. I mentioned that one of the reasons I didn't want to use the culture expand, uh, the unit expansion mod, was because it gave the dark culture like a mind control for their tier 4 unit. That's not entirely true. It gives them a teleport. 69? Nice. Like, something they can teleport units around. Which is still annoying, don't get me wrong. But it's not as bad. I wouldn't be surprised if Blint declares on me, to be honest. But who cares? Borlas. Borlas. I think Borlas starts its fishing expansion. Um, yeah. Begin the harbors. Magical ward is ready. This will give resistances to the team, and it will be applied to Jaina. Plus two lightning, fire, and frost resistance. Boom. I didn't... I forgot it kind of made them lightning-y. 
Now we could get Shadow Binding. That actually would be pretty useful for our vast Frost Elemental Army. I am keen on Natural Recovery. We'll get Natural Recovery. Do I just get them both? Hmm. Knowledge? Knowledge? I'm going to grab that first. So we should get plus 45 knowledge from this, which is pretty good. And as someone pointed out in a previous series, I said that this was kind of question mark because eventually, you know, all your vassals will become supreme and they can't have Whispering Stones. But depending on what type of battle you're doing, as long as, you know, there are people, other people you're at war with, you can use the Court of Whispers to give Whispering Stones to their vassals, which would then do that. Arthas has declared friendship with me. Oh yeah, I did that first. Hail, Lord Admiral Jaina. I would like you to not charge 200. We're about to vassalize the city, that's fine. Flint's gonna have so many things against me. I wonder if the AI is smart enough to attempt to... That's Kael'thas. I was just thinking about you, Jaina. How fair are treaties and trade deals? Perhaps we could improve them. Perhaps we could. Now, Blint is desperate because he's at war with Garrosh and he has no friends. So Blint is willing to do anything. Anything. What is this again? That's pretty good. So we could befriend him a little bit. And uh, turn on him when most, when he needs us most. We could do that. Although I don't think Matthias would appreciate that much. But we will give him a wizard's bond. A diplomatic approach will assure victory. I agree. The duelist dance. Grants the ability to ignore zone of control and prevents you from being flanked. Wow, that's really good. The spellbreaker shield. Oh, I want that. Can I have this? For 90 gold? All right, just because it's you, Nathaniel. So the, they did modify. Yeah. They changed how the AI calculates the cost of things. You think befriending Starlet's Sanctuary will help you secure your path to victory? Do I think that? I don't know. I think it'll piss off Kael'thas. Which, uh, you know. Lol. Anyway, as I was saying, they, they changed how the AI calculates how much things are worth. And they try to make it so they wouldn't deviate from their actual value too much. You may recall, in previous series, me buying tier 4 items for like 20 gold. Supposedly that is no longer possible. But we'll find out. Duke Rowanspur Wayne White. Wayne? Wainwright? Wainwright. Of the free city, Abbeyvale approaches with fanfare. We, the people of Abbeyvale, greet you, O Lord Admiral, Jaina Proudmore. You will find here a place of honor, glory, and devotion to chivalry. We anticipate that either peace will be achieved between us because of values we share, or we will engage in glorious combat that the bards will sing of for ages to come. And you're at war with Garrosh, so that's enough to make me like you. But... You're only a tier 2 city. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, Outpost has been established. We're gonna yoink that. We're gonna give you Palisade Walls. And now we need to hustle. We are at war. Oh. Dawndell has been claimed by Methaniel. This is a tier 4 city, though, and I want it. So... I think it will do. I want to go over here because of haste berries. Ooh, there's Saruman himself. Already has an Autumn Fairy. That's from an event. I didn't... You can actually... Some of the mods that you can... 
download allow you to obtain fairies, but I didn't I didn't do that. Hmm. It's gonna take a while to move over here. Okay. Let's go. Oh, this fucking mountain. Uh, this fucking mountain. So the Hayspray will be the last thing we need for the Imperial Essence, which will help us boost our Imperium game quite a lot. Friendship between Blint and Calicos. Friendship between... Oh, they re they declared each other. Okay. Okay. A Vassal with Fangvale. Currently granting us a little bit of income. Nothing too crazy, but that's all right by me. Do I want to move my stone somewhere? They're tier 3, so I think it's worth keeping it there. Yeah. We'll, we'll check in on Abbey Vale every now and again. The next stone, by the way, comes from the Court of Whispers. So we are 19 turns away from the next stone. War has ended because Nathaniel has taken it over. That is correct. And a new rally has begun. What is this? Oh, it's one of the modded units. Interesting. It's a, a raider, they call it. Hmm. Cool. I'd get it if I had any gold income at all. Actually, don't. I also don't know why my capital is red, but... It's fine. It's whatever. Definitely want to build the shipyard as well. In fact, I probably should have built that first. Coming in in two turns. Let's go, team. Let's get out of here. You are grabbing this. Give me vision. The fish. The fish of doom. Uh, you were grabbing that. We have found the corner of the map. And that is good old health a loss. Nathaniel Mar has been felled. A rivalry between Saruman and Nathaniel. Okay, should we declare rivalry on Saruman then? What? Cannot afford the upkeep. Oh, it's 20 gold upkeep. That's right. Every decoration adds 10 gold upkeep. Oh, God. That'd be more than 20 then. 20. 30? Where are my friend where are my decorations? I'm friend with you. I'm friend with you. I'm rival with you. So be 40. Oh dear lord. This is why Silver Tongue is OP. Okay. And why are you going different paths? Don't do that. Okay. Good job, AI. I'm proud of you. Get back in the water. Keep on... Actually, I don't know if I need the scouts, or if I need to manual the scouts anymore. Amp arrows! Sorry, pylon. Gonna let you go now. I think the scouts can be autoed now. Okay, Ash for Blood going. It's gonna take forever. Empire skills available. Locking and shuffling research costs 50%. Less research city structures cost less as well. That's good. But do I want that right now? Sure. I'm going to lock and shuffle a lot. Rivalry between Arthas, Menethel, and Blint. Ooh. That is going to be something. So Calicos is friendly with Blint. But Arthas is not. And the suggestion I briefly mentioned earlier was to import a little bit of Northrend wheat to Blint. Which I didn't get the reference at first. Shame on me, I know. But basically, the north, the wheat from Northrend is what Ke Kel'Thuzad used to corrupt Lordaeron. Not Lordaeron itself, but the, the people, the various cities around Lordaeron. And um, most famously is Strathlum where the people had been corrupted by the wheat and were turning into the undead. And Arthas made the correct decision 
Hashtag Arthas did nothing wrong. To purge the city. And he killed every living creature inside of it. But they were turning into the undead and there was nothing they could do about it. That was when Jaina turned her back on Arthas. And so did Uther. Uther later died to him. <laughs> While connecting with the cosmos, he knows a disturbance in the astral flow. An overly curious mage has tampered with the mana currents. She accidentally opened a portal, drawing in magical creatures from the astral sea. Now she is hiding behind a barrier while the summoned monsters threaten the entire area. Will you rescue the mage and banish the magical creatures at a location before it is too late? Of course I shall. I am a great archmage. I will do what I must. You know what would be greatest if there were haysberries over here? This is a hella juicy city site. Wonder, Archon Blood, Mana, Gold, Mana, whatever the hell that is, Pastures. This might be a city site, team. This might be city number two. Go there and auto. Magistrate Hafdar Svan of the Free City Solemnia acknowledges you with an elegant curtsy. Hail, Great Jaina Proudmore. The people of Solemnia greet you and wish you well. We look forward to introducing you to our arts and culture so that you may taste of our opulence. Really? You're at war with Garrosh. I like that. War has begun. Blint and Arthas are at war. Oh, dear. Well, I have to side with Arthas. That happened so fast. I was just talking about getting Arthas to attack Blint and... Well, it happens. Okay. This is a large map, I believe, by the way. And we're already uh, kind of feeling the tight quarters. So if I want to city here... Oh, my turn. Okay, we'll land next turn. Someone else is here as well. Vassals grant additional gold. That could be very... That could actually save my economy right now. I typically don't get this until later, but I kind of need this. All right, we'll take it. Nathaniel Mar has returned. Good. A rivalry between Saruman and Nathaniel. The lines are already being drawn. Act of loyalty. Cool. You are angering me, Jaina Proudmore. I'm warning you. If you keep going like this, I will see an end to your reign right here. Okay. Um So I have a minor a minor justification which isn't ah, great. Hey Nathaniel. Now I have a defensive pact. Which is quite something. Why is everything so goddamn expensive? The Horde. You know what? Okay. Okay, so here's the question. I believe this is always 20. 20 grievances now. So if I fabricate, I have in five turns, I should have enough justification to have moderates. Oh, I wouldn't. So I should just declare on him now, actually. Very well, Shana Proudmore. He says through gritted teeth, if it is a war you want, it is a war you will get. So the reason I uh, aggressively declared on him is because I'm going to get benefits for doing so, and he will not have any. So I don't think I have the time actually to build a city now. Something happened down there. I don't know why the camera moved like this. But um, oh, there's Blint's capital. Why can I see that? Don't know. But, uh... Saruman and I... 
are destined for war. There should be an auto? Yeah. With the summoned monsters banished again, the chaplain drops her magical barrier. Thank you. She comes forward. Okay. Enthusiastically waving her wand. My field research has never yielded more valuable results. I have another interesting hypothesis that needs confirmation. I don't suppose you would mind if I... In which direction do you steer the chaplain of the Sindori before her magical experiments can cause more damage? Hmm. Knowledge? Mana. Knowledge. Invite the mage to share her findings at your court. This will give us the astral boon and, of course, increase our stability briefly. Amp arrows are in. Ooh. This is all good. Do I want a Fanta? I've never ever used this before. You know what? Let's take it. I really, what I want, tell me what you want, what you really, really, <laughs> what I really, really want is the, 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 sign the signative oath or whatever it's called. That thing. Defensive training. The signature of the knight, the oath. Do I want? Not really. I prefer not to build the city on this. Or that tile. And I can't build it on that tile. The reason is because I can build conduits. on those tiles, but I might not have a bloody choice. These all have nodes on them. So it's this tile. Okay, that's where we're going. Going to the watchtower. Negotiations have succeeded. Fantastic. Money is rolling in from our vassal thing. You think befriending Ridgekeep will help secure your path to victory. Well. I might need to fabricate. What would it be to settle my grievances here? Let's do that. I did this in the Morgan playthrough with Blint, actually. <laughs> you think befriending Ridgekeep will help secure your path? Huh? In the Morgan playthrough, the first one, Blint was an opponent, and basically I made it so Blint's AI would never declare war on me by just keeping our war justifications perfectly equal. Now, they have kind of prevented that, sort of, with the changes to the declaration of rivalry. Where can I show it? I think I can anywhere. Basically, there. if you have a declared rival, you will gain rival justification, which is justification that overrides. It can't be, like, gotten rid of or anything. So, that's in effect no matter what. Which hasn't shown up. Maybe because it... I don't know. I don't know how it works exactly. I still don't quite get it. I could declare you my rival now and deal with it that way. I was going to extort him, but things have changed. We still have a wizard's bond, oddly enough. Hmm. Show proposal. It's a deal. Means I jumped to this a little too quickly. That's fine. You have three items again. Mail of the Razorback. The Ring of Flame. I am interested. I don't know if I'm 90 gold interested, though. The AI loves just spawning random shit. Jaina? There you are. Easy auto. Give me that mana. And I think I have... Yeah, I have to go all the way over here. Yes, this is an outpost. Mm -hmm. This is a city. This is where we're building the city. 
So we can expand across the way, and we can expand over this way. The only problem is our vassal's kind of here, but whatever. It's fine. Saruman. Thankfully, he doesn't have any um, warriors. Heroes. Have a fine minds. Astral Blood is ready. We shall apply it to Jaina Proudmoore. Whenever a spell is cast, we get attunement. Increasing, or we get fortune. Attunement, fortune. So whenever we cast a spell, we get more crit hit chance. It's very strong. It changed your hair, though. Oh, Well. Calicos would like a wizard's bond. I shall pay you in mana, Calicos. Oh, you gave me mana. Thanks, bro. Well. Calicos is my newest flame. Who could have guessed? He'd be such a good pal. How about you, Arthas? My oldest sweetheart. I believe what you did was correct. Well. <laughs> I've made all the friends I want. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. In fact, you know what? I'll forgive you. I forgive you, Arthas. I think you did the right thing. Ah, beautiful. Oh, thanks for the money. So yeah, now that we've found all of the capital cities, I don't feel like my mind control <laughs> microing my scouts anymore. So I'm just gonna put them on auto. They'll go from pickup to pickup, and they maybe they maybe will die. Who knows? Who cares? Now, Allied Victory is turned on, by the way, so that's something worth considering. Seer Marin Calligrapher, the free city sorcerer Solas, is enthused about meeting you for the first time. Well met, Lord Admiral Jaina Proudmoore. We heard great things about you. We small Arcanists hope our humble free city and learn from you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Take it. I guess I'm giving Solemnia to Arthas. Arthas is coming for that booty. Okay. Screw you, Barkshire. Jaina. As soon as you enter the Serpent Cavern, you notice it is infested with snakes. Stony serpents loom like pillars in the heart of the underground maze. The entire scene looks like a shrine dedicated to an outlawed deity. Ornate rock formations surround a stone-shaped altar where the idol of a snake-haired woman stands. The living serpents lurk at a distance until you touch the altar. The idol grins and crumbles, the snakes hissing in anticipation. A hollow echo shakes the cavern. Disciples of the Gorgon Goddess, choose your sacrifice, lest your greedy hearts turn to stone. Fuck you. Flawless dub. I don't know how the AI did that, but good job. Having survived the trial of the Gorgon Goddess, a shifting stone plate reveals her chamber of offerings. Inside the hidden room, a line of petrified adventurers bear silent witness to the magic of the curse you withstood. You find a scroll created by the old worshippers of the Gorgon Goddess, which seems to contain a lytho-shaping spell. Do you keep the scroll of lytho-shaping, or use it to revive the petrified victims you have found? Bring the victims to life. They are free to return to their homes. Remember, Jaina is technically a good character. Your troops engage the unicorn and its minions, but they cower in fear rather than put up a fight. Most of them try to hide, while others huddle on the ground. They seem to be begging for mercy through panicked hisses and cries. Do you let the scared unicorn and other creatures go, or do you attack them regardless? Let them go. Remember, Jaina is technically a good character. And now we can yoink that. And now... We can found a city. Cool. We're out. We're about. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at Saruman. 
Amp arrows are... Oh, that's going to affect... That's going to affect my frost elementals? <gasps> oh, glorious day. Makes base physical ranged attacks of enchanted units deal. Plus two lightning damage, minus physical damage, 30% of the damage will bounce to another target within three hexes. Amp arrows is and has always been incredibly good. Bells are ready to cast. What are we doing? Let's put a blizzard in the pocket. New Empire skills are available, and it is the costing reserves. Ooh. That's good, but we're not going to get it yet, because we can also gain a siege specialization, which we do want before this war starts. Arthas has begun negotiation very late. Rivalry has begun with Calicos and Men Arthas and Menethel. Oh, my boys, why? My old lover... My current, newish, most recent lover. There we go. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they amicably broke up. Oh, this sucks. Bro, I feel for you. Look at this spawn. Holy shit. This dude is surrounded by lava and bedrock, which he can't break. He can only expand this way. Oh. Now, this were a player. You would need a max city cap, and you would need the uh, the nature thing to expand above. God, that sucks. We may not be so different, after all. Your actions are promising. By all means, continue. Calico has a personal preference for your actions of empires with a weaker military. I see how it is. And he's rank 7, which means I'm rank 8. Okay. We may not be so different, after all, Jaina. Oh, look at that. He likes empires with good relations to free cities. Do you have any good items? Demonic Shield, Nightmare, and the Dusk Blade. Ooh. That seems pretty good. It is a one-handed? How much do you want for this? Now take it. Take that too. We are now very good. I don't know if I could say that in anyone else's voice. Very good. You know what the worst part is? Oh, hey, Arthas is underground. An Arctic underground. Uh, the worst thing is I don't even remember his name. Is it Goff? Might be Goff. The legendary archer from Dark Souls. He's the one that carves all those stones that you drop on the floor and then they say things. He also is the one that shoots the Black Dragon Calamite out of the sky. Which is very impressive. You have treated your citizens in Borlis well. Now a famed bard contacts you with a charming smile wreathing his face. It is an honor to speak with you, great lord, admiral, Jaina Proudmore. The flamboyant musician says, strumming a lute. I am known throughout the realm as a humble bard, storyteller, and lyricist extraordinaire. Your legend is truly inspiring to me. I simply must write a ballad about you. A song worthy of your legacy. The bard wishes to write a song for you. What sentiment do you wish it to convey? Hmm. It's only 99 Imperium. That is almost two turns, though. No, no, let's go with this. An inspiring working song. Production, food, and knowledge per turn. Most importantly. Oh, by the way, there is also a mod uh, that I didn't get to expand the naval roster. And it seems pretty good. The reason I didn't get it is... Was that going to be zero? Uh, the reason I didn't pick it up is because... The shipman. The huntsman. It didn't only expand the naval roster. It also made a lot of modifications. It kind of like overhauled the naval combat in general. Which I... I mean, I do think the naval combat needs an overhaul. But uh, I'll leave that to... Triumph for now. We can integrate this free city. Hmm. That's an option. You have a tower. Ooh, do we want to integrate this? Blinty boy. Oh, Blint's getting scary. 
He gets cataphracts, my boy. This is from the mod, of course. I love cataphracts. Oh, cataphracts do it for me. Kaelthar Sunstrider has proven themselves a worthy friend to me. <laughs> a shared friendship between you and Kaelthar can only make us stronger. Has he now? So, Kaelthar Sunstrider. Ah, Kaelthar Sunstrider. Kaelthas and, um... Ooh, you don't even have 100 gold. You're just like me, bro. Whoops. Well, I did that. Kaelthas and Arthas have a complicated relationship. This isn't over. You could still rise up in the ranks of the world. Fuck you, Arthas. You're also a Um... Wow. Even you are telling me not to give up. And you went the Materium Breath? Or is that Order? You went Order? What? Okay, whatever. Anyway, Kaelthas and Arthas were kind of um, competitors for Jaina's love and attention. And of course, Ar of course Arthas won out. But uh, Kaelthas certainly tried. He tried real hard. And then the reason Kaelthas and the High Elves left the Alliance is the Alliance had a lot of prejudice against the Elves for one reason or another. I don't know, like maybe blowing up the world. Did the humans even know about that, though? Anyway, there was a lot of prejudice, and so Kaelthas ended up leaving. And he didn't join the Horde right away. He joined the forces that went to Outland, so the Naga and Illidan, and then the Blood Elves that were left behind on Azeroth are the ones who ultimately ended up joining with the Horde. Duke Pelinir, I almost said Pelinor. Pelinor Fields, never forget. Pelinir, holder of the free city Castellan, bows deeply to you, clearly aware of your reputation within the realm. Greetings, Lord Admiral Jaina Proudmore. We rarely meet a Lord Admiral as benevolent as you. We are honored to be graced with your glory and hope all of feudal brutes will learn from your wisdom. You are tier four, and Arts is already coming for that booty. Can I get in on this? I'm going to have to boost to do it, but we'll see. We'll try. We will try. Of course, Arthas won't be too happy about that, but that's fine. Where is... Am I going to go straight for his capital? Are we going to knock out Saruman on turn 40? 50? Probably 50. Our next tier two tome. What do we desire? Hmm. Maybe we should take a look at our greater. Oh, shite sickle. I can't get the Tome of the Cold Dark without another shadow thing. I might be able to get it. Actually, I don't want either of these tomes. I don't want Doom Herald. I don't want Necromancy. In fact, Jaina quite hated Necromancy. Hmm. We could do nature. I was gonna, actually, we should do artificing. The the Kultirans were master constructors. I think we're going to be boring and go back to Tome of Artificing. It's been a while since I've actually used this as a main tome, so it's time. Artifice, I like to think, is the ultimate expression of genius made physical. To translate something as intangible as an idea into a working, walking automaton is truly a magnificent thing. When one can turn such creations into behemoths, marrying machine with magic that can level or raise a city, they may veritably claim the title of Artificer. Now, I don't believe the Kultirans actually created automatons, but they did create a few things that could level cities, mostly with the, the Azerite thing. So I'm going to lock armaments, artisan armaments. We're going to a pure meta build here with artisan armaments and the uh, attunement fortune. But uh, we'll grab the Bolt Reapers. I like how all of these are just missing one. 
We need Focus Crystals, Astral Dew, and the Silver Tongue. Imperial Essence is the most important to me, but Cosmoflux Elixir would be good, and Rings of Binding would be okay. Uh, I did not put this on my city. Borlas. Borlas. Yep. New Empowerment Skill is available to this one. Ooh, Seed Search is cheaper. I need to get uh, Seed Spec. But I guess I get this first. Good. We have stolen the Starlet Sanctuary, getting us some beautiful income. Um. Unfortunately, our incredible persuasion doesn't really work on the people who are evil. Either I leave this here for 10 turns to get a Supreme Vassal, or I just move it over and try and steal Solemnia. I think that's not a great idea. My domain has been invaded. Saruman. So the only thing Saruman can do here is pillage. He doesn't have a hero here. Which means he cannot besiege the city. Which is okay. I wanted Florin. I did. I diddly do. This spawn also blows, but I mean, at least the, the thing is right here for overhead expansion. All right, I have open borders. I'm like, what are you doing here? Scout. Okay, well. We're marching to war. Yeah, they're going to just pillage everything, I think. That's fine. It sucks, but it's fine. Friendship between Calicos and Saruman. Really? Let it be known that Saruman, of many colors, has crossed me. Bro, I'm at war with Saruman. Do we go into a full-blown alliance with the Lord of Valor? I think I do, team. Did I not already have this? No. The Lord of Valor? We'll wait. We'll see. Nathaniel has crossed you. Why would I care about that? Saruman has begun negotiating with Casterlin. Okay. Great. My domain has been invaded. My domain has been invaded. It has. Okay, our economy is recovering, so I can probably start building things again. But I'm also going to Tier 3. So maybe we just save and see what, I, what Tier 3 units I can get. I remember reading in the mod description... The tier four, oh, the tier four unit, uh, cultural unit for the feudal can only be gained by evolution. So it actually would not hurt us to grab the Tome of the Shepherd, or whatever it's called. That also push our nature over to three, which would allow us to get super growth. That might not be a bad idea. I don't regret getting artificing. Art artificing is good. Especially now that we have that. But maybe I should have done that. Blint has withdrawn into the Astral Void, and so has Garrosh. Wow. Violence everywhere. I think large map is the play. On very large, there was a so long a period of time of not doing anything. But here on large, like, the AI has found each other. The AI is out for blood. It's ready. It's a knockdown, drag out fight. Dino looks so weird with black hair. My claimed province has been captured. Oh, that's fine. Oh, did you put something in the water, Saruman? He did. Was this worth grabbing? Not really. But I did. Ooh, that's not good. Well. 
Borlas has been besieged. Ah. Well. I didn't know you could besiege me from the water. Oh god. I just got those killed. Okay. Haperton has been founded. Yeah. Um... You need walls. We might find out real quick. This is going to be Theramor, by the way. Theramor, of course, the city that was destroyed by Garrosh's arcane bomb. Rats. The war mage. Ooh. I like that, but I kind of wanted a melee character. Like this. Uh, there's an order adept. Ooh. That could be good. Jonas the Strong returns. A materium adept. No, no, I have to get Jonas. Jonas the Strong returns to us. A brave champion of the Dark Gods. Actually, was this? <laughs> Can't remember now. I think Jonas was on the Stranger playthrough, right? What do you have? Fighting, defense, sprint? That's cool and all, but... Was he also the Lord of Knowledge? I think he was. Jonas the strong and wise. A brave champion. Who is on a nightmare as well. Okay. I have tricks, Saruman. You think I don't have tricks? I have fucking tricks, Saruman. It was foolish of you to come here today, Tom. Wrong movie. But still wizards. So, Saruman is the leader, the hero that's besieging the city. Which means, if I can kill Saruman, I can save myself. And you better believe I'm going to try. So, this is the Huntsman. One of the additional units from the mod. They have... The Wild Hunt melee attack. A repeating attack that deals bonus damage against animal and cavalry. Oh my god. And a crossbow. Which can slow. <laughs> and a net. Wow, you seem good. Okay. Alrighty, daddy. Yeah, you cast your silly spells. Jonas is coming for you, Saruman. Are you afraid? Saruman the Wise? When did Saruman the Wise abandon reason for madness? I could immobilize him. Or... I don't know. I think it was... Wasn't it Saruman who said that to Gandalf? Or is it Gandalf? It's been so long since I've seen Lord of the Rings. It's actually kind of heretical how long it's been. I just remember Saruman the Stinky. Aw. That's from a, a YouTube video. Alright, well. Hello. I have pinned you all in. Do I go after him as well? Probably? Because now I've got the super mega pin. Actually, the Banshees are probably just going to teleport out if they can. The Nightmare has no effect on uh, the Banshees being undead and all. Ow! To be fair, the only reason I spawned those was to get something to initiate the fight. They're, they don't matter to me. Their existence is unimportant. 
Do I have any other spells? Nope. Can I kill him? I think so. Yes! Defender, go! Beautiful. Okay. All static shield, Jonas. I should have given that to um the defender, and I should have done that first because of the increased crit chance. You know how it is. I think an attack is bullshit. This is a chance to stun. We stun the healthy one, we kill the low health one. Or we try to, anyway. Should have done that first to get the increased crit chance. Okay, finally, they fall. The foul, undead, slain, beaten, and broken. It's moments like this that make me realize that the uh, embark sometimes is actually kind of painful. Hey, that's my only modded unit. Please don't kill it. Please. Okay, we're good. Oh, well done, Jonas. Well done, well done. Now, of course, the problem is they could just enter the sea and probably hit me. Actually, maybe not. They might not be able to. Jonas the Strong shall govern the Isle of Theramor and hopefully not get bombed. I do need the Palisades, but can I greet out the Stonemason? Stay tuned to find out. Uh... They canceled my Citadel? Oh my god, I think they did. Literal last turn upgrade for the Citadel and they cancel it. Saruman. I'm gonna kill him. I was falsely denounced. You have crossed me, Lord Admiral Jaina Proudmoore. Well, that's fine. You're dead. I can't do anything about that anyway. How do you denounce me when you're dead? We are ahead in Casterlin of Arthas, which is cool. We may not be so different after all. You like the fact that I'm weak. I get it, Caligos. Nice. At least someone approves. <laughs> At least... At least someone approves. Give me that, please. Jonas must become strong. Jonas must become... Unbreakable. Do you already have a teleporter? How is this possible? I'll do it for the relationship. I like how Garrosh and Blint are dead right now. Hi. Oh, I'm like, wait a minute. Why are there two... Help? Uh, research bows here. Where is Jonas, a brave champion? There you go. Oh, that was cutting it close. Too close. But now that there's no hero here, Saruman cannot besiege my capital. But I don't think... can Even if there's no walls, can a regular unit just walk onto something? Because Theramore is kind of... Oh, he got me, son of a bitch. I have one, two, two options. I think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to take option one. What is option one, you ask? Bye, Felicia. So... If you lose the battle, the unit will either die or scatter and reappear. It should scatter. Nice. Okay, the, the units themselves died, but Jonas is out. That's how you retreat in this game, by the way. It's not retreating. It's advancing in the opposite direction. Hey, Barkshire, you want to help me out? You piece of shit? Want to give me a hand? Bonding with the earth and its riches, you witness an underground tragedy. The Kul'tirans have mined too far and too greedily. 
into the depths of the earth. Their drilling stood up a dread spider matriarch along with a horde of underground predators. Now these menaces are stalking the gold vein, killing the workers of the Kultirans one by one. Will you shield the miners of the gold vein from the attacks of the dread spider matriarch before it is too late? Sure. Where is this? Oh, it's actually pretty close. Silly Saruman. So this is the tier 4 dark unit I was talking about. The Overlord Scion, and it has no escape. Target enemy unit sustains damage and is pulled to a hex adjacent to this one. So yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have Blizzard, but... Because of Saruman's silly error, I'm able to capitalize on this and pull this whole stack in. You know what, I'll do this by myself. I'm able to pull this whole stack in without pulling in its reinforcements. So, here's the plan. We cheese the crap out of it. That shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. We'll start with this. Um, look at you there. Cool. You will start with the other one. Fantastic. The Scion might be able to pull something here, which will be annoying. Oh, cool. What are my chances to freeze it? 43. Beaching Guard. Oh, you're another new unit, the Shadow Legionnaire. I say new, you know, modded unit. If an attacker is weakened, this unit gains two defense, two resistance, and the attacker also takes four physical damage. But I'm not weakened. Actually, hold on. Eh, yeah, whatever. Hold on. Give it to both, seed, both sides. Let her fly. There is a good chance of freezing here. Frozen, slowed, and slowed. Okay. You can do the same. Slow to hold. That guy is scary. That guy is thick. I did not do the defensive thing. Well. It is what it is. We'll Sunder. The attempt to freeze this guy continues. Because I don't know what he's going to do. Nice. And that, my friends, is how you get her done. I also didn't do the, the damage boost, but that's fine. Get frozen. Get owns. Clean. And then we can use him, of course, as a way to shoot further in. I still need the... Um... The signet thing. Signet of knighthood. The oath of knighthood, whatever it's bloody called, but that's fine. That would give... Uh to stand together or whatever to our lovely elementals who are doing so much work for me right now. Making me so proud. Am I buffing or am I freezing? I'll try. Nailed it. I don't know if he's scary. I don't. He might be. He could be. But he's gonna die. Wait, why are you here? The oddity continues. Someone said that I turned on the thing where the mobs come back to life, but I did not. See? Look, he got... Well, I think that was just him moving. There are two modifiers that affect whether something comes back to life. The immortal modifier, which I have played with, makes it so that things don't die if you win your combat. 
Um, but they can still fall over. Hannon will still fall over. The Curse of Undeath makes it so that anything that dies will revive as an undead, like a turn later or something. And I did not turn that on. I turned on Rampant Undeath, which just means there'll be a lot of them. No fleeing, only killing. Yep. The Snow Spirits will be... Ah, good job. Well done, Jaina. Now we march on Dracteur, which should definitely be known as... Uh oh I know the name of the tower. Okay, hear me out. None of these are great for Jaina. Like, maybe Rallying Blessing would be the choice. But I'm going to take Dark Ritual. Uh, one... I have to lean into. I have to. I have to lean into the darkness. It can't not happen. But two, this gives me three shadow affinities, so now I can get the Tome of the Cold Dark without getting another shadow tome. Tactical decision. Spur to action. Some skin. He's gonna bug me. I forgot the name of the tower. Why is a hero offering to join? I'm busy. I already have my champion. The remains of Jonas. What? Jonas, my boy. How could you do this to me? That's why a hero was responding. Jonas, I will avenge you. Well, shall we get free to the righteous? An order adept, huh? That could be good. The Sindori. Eh. Let's get an order of depths. So the order of depths uh, should give plus two affinity to order. Yep. So now we have access to the tier three order tomes as well. Unfortunately, she's not part of my faction, but that's all right. Jaina knows how to work with many. And I don't even know where her skills are, but I am going to reset her. Uh, should we make her a ranged unit? Thank you, my bow. Sure. And give her the visor of Farsa. Remember, I lost everything that uh, What's-His-Face had, so... Sad face. Can be the Lord of Knowledge? Sure. Your name is Laudwina Holder. You can hold my knowledge. Ah! 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 Uh, so funny. I guess we take Sprint? Sure. Summon me an elemental. My domain has been invaded. It has indeed. Alrighty. Laudwina Holder, you are going to lead a new... Army of Champions? My thoughts? Shall we get a um, Armored Pikeman? I typically don't like Spears, but we'll give it a shot. Why not? I bet the Light Cavalry evolves into a Knight, and then the Knight evolves into um, the, knight, the Tier 4 thing. Sage Serp Moon Dagger of the Free City of the Prime City greets you with a sage, vaguely insufferable expression. Salutations, Jaina Proudmore. The reptilian ancients of Prime City extend a helpful, hopeful wish of mutual neutrality. Our diviners have foretold of your presence in these lands. We seek only to further our understanding of the arcane arts and remain amenable to fostering a mutually beneficial relationship with the almighty Empire. If we cannot, we hope that we can at least stay out of each other's way. Fuck you. You're stuck underground. Arthas can have you. What's going on down here? The free cities don't know how to diggy dig. This is an interesting spot. Lots of diggy dig. I don't think you can annex water provinces underground. I take that back. It looks like you can. Okay. Day 46. 
and Saruman shall be besieged. Uh, hold on. Hold on, Saruman. Hey, Nathaniel. I, um... I'm in need of some cash. Here's a Crusader's Claymore. I'm sure you'd love such a thing as a Paladin, right? You're all about that life. That's my starting staff. I hope you appreciate it. No, 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 no. Thank you, my friends, for all of your golds. Why are you so rich? Thanks, bro. Okay, Saruman. It's not Osgiliath, is it? No. Orthanc! It's called Orthanc! Oh, silly fabe. The Tower of Orthanc. That's the... Isengard is his territory, right? But Orthanc is the tower itself. Ah. Undermine the walls. Cerebro so Brothor undermines the walls. So that should be sufficient. And we must siege for many, many turns. Garrosh has returned to Orgrimmar. A defensive pact between Arthas and Kael'thas. All right, KT. All right. All right. We'll see how it feels. We'll see how it works out. Rivalry between Kael'thas and Methaniel. If I have to choose, I'm going Methaniel. Methaniel's my boy. And that, my friends, is the end of our turn. Next turn, we get artisan armaments and we besiege the Tower of Orthanc in preparations to end Saruman once and for all. Saruman actually is dead and he will be respawning here in a few turns. So we may need to start spawning some armies if we can. Should be able to. Yeah. Get some more boys. It is too soon for the Spelljammer, but we are approaching that time. So thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Jaina Proudmoore has garnered more power, and soon she shall stamp out her first opponent. I think we'll take the city. I think it's a good city. But thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to stay updated in the channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below. And I will see you next time for our very first... Conquest. Bye.